Welcome to part two of the Grease Guardian commissioning video. Today we're going to look at how to program your Grease Guardian. But firstly it's important to note that rest restaurants will produce different levels of grease depending on what type, of what type of kitchen you have. For example, if you're a small restaurant you're not going to be producing the same amount of grease as say a large hotel. So what we would re recommend is that you consult either your distributor or you refer to the rear of the manual, but I'm going to take you through some basic settings. Okay, so let's start. First of all, there are four available time slots to suit the type of restaurant that you have. We have an 8 o'clock setting, 12, 4 o'clock, and an 8 o'clock in the evening setting. However, if you don't make any adjustments to the unit from the get-go, it has a factory setting whereby from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. the unit starts on a low cycle daily. This is adequate for small applications including out-of-town delis or small restaurants of less than 50 people. Okay, so this is the PLC controller that controls the Grease Guardian. First of all, to explain what you're looking at, on the top left hand corner you'll have the current software version and whether it's for Europe or whether it's for North America. Secondly, you'll have the factory set at uh, actual time, so this is always set into GMT. And lastly, then it tells you what the default uh, cycle mode is, and in this case it's low cycle mode. Firstly, we're going to have a look at how to change the time slots that are available to us so that we can set the, the cycle settings. As I mentioned before, we have four hour time, time slots. We have 8 o'clock in the morning, midday, 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock in the evening. You access these by pressing A and OK. That will bring up the, uh, one of the time slots and you cycle through them by pressing A. Now, any time slot can be set to on or off by pressing the B button. So in this case, we want an 8 o'clock in the morning uh, setting to be switched on. Press B and clock on comes on. On completion, press Escape to save the settings and it brings you back to your home page. So once back in the home screen, press and hold either the plus or the minus key for one second to fine tune the cycle. So we have set ourselves for eight o'clock in the morning. We want to decide what type, of, uh, what type of cycle. So we can press, let's press plus. We can move it then to medium. Press again, and it brings us to high cycle. But in this case, I want to leave it in low setting, so I'm going to move back to low. And again, escape to save. During a cycle, both the heating element and the motor are activated to heat up and skim the fats, oils and grease. However, if you feel that your establishment produces more grease or you need more, uh, more time to clean the unit, then you change your cycles to, uh, to medium or to high settings, to, depending on what you actually require. When wastewater entering the unit is sufficiently hot, or if light oils are being intercepted, the heater element may not be required. This is our economy mode. With this in mind, there is an option to run cycles with the heating element deactivated. This feature will also provide savings on energy bills. To disengage the heater element from the home, whole screen, hold down the B button for 10 seconds or more. The display will change shortly. And in this mode, the system runs any cycle with only the motor running at its normal preset operation. To re-engage the heater, simply hold the B button down for 10 seconds until the heater off mode is cleared. Okay, so that's your Grease Guardian pretty much commissioned at this point. Now we need to test to make sure that all our settings are being saved. So we have a test mode. A test of the electrical components can be conducted by pressing plus and minus together to access the screen. So here you can see that if we press A, that brings on the heater element. B will spring on the uh, skimming wheel. And we also have two outputs reserved for additional, uh, additional features such as lid switches or alarms. So you can access your, your service menu by uh, your test menu by the screen. Don't forget to press escape to return back out of it to your home page again. Each Grease Guardian is supplied with a safety switch located here underneath the lid. 
If the main tank cover is removed from the unit at any time, both the heater and the motor will be stopped automatically for safety reasons. The lid will flash a lid off alert until the lid is replaced. Power is restored to the heater and motor only once the lid has been replaced. Your Grease Guardian comes with an advanced service menu. You access this by pressing B and OK together. This will first of all bring up the commission date. Now this is the date that you set as when this unit was actually set into, a, uh, into operation. To move on in the menu, you move, press B and it will bring up the date of the last service. Again, very important information for your service engineer to know when was the last service done. And lastly, the interval setting for the service reminder. This feature allows the interval for the flashing service reminder display. The interval option can be set at, at a frequency of 0 to 12 months. The factory default is set for 3 months, 0 being that there's no reminder. For full features of this advanced menu, please refer to your operations and maintenance manual or to your supplier who will be able to help you out with any inquiries. So there you have it, your Grease Guardian is now fully operational and commissioned. For more information, please visit the greaseguardian.com webpage or the YouTube channel where you can get more information. Thank you very much for watching and have a fog-free day.